the best upgrades you can make to your rolled hot rod or muscle car is with a high output alternator. With the day, today's electric fans, electric fuel pumps, ECUs, air conditioners, there's all sorts of different things that you need to keep charged along with the battery. So you really need to get a high output alternator such as the ones from Powermaster. Now installing an alternator is an easy thing. Of course, you need to get the right pulley and brackets to line them. But there's one little secret that you need to be prepared for, and that's to ground the alternator housing. Now, of course, in the old days with a 60 amp alternator, you would just bolt it on, it finds ground, no problems. But today's higher output versions from say 140 up through 250, it's imperative to have it grounded well so it can charge everything it needs to and keep everything happy. Now on the Chevelle, it has really nice powder coated brackets and I put on our new Powermaster alternator, went for a drive and realized it was not charging up to snuff and that's when I figured out that it's going to need a ground on the back of the alternator. Now I left it disconnected so I could show you what it does. Now with the car running at idle, we're just going to check the voltage at the alternator stud. And you can see 13.5, which isn't bad, but it should be up over 14 volts. Now I'll go ahead and connect the ground wire and show you what we get. So all we did was just took a jumper wire and went from the alternator housing to ground just to show you. Now we're at the back of the alternator. And there we are at 14.2 at an idle. So you can see what a difference it makes making sure you have that housing grounded. So that's a good example of why it's so important to ground the back of your alternator housing for a good ground. Now that was just an example. We took a jumper wire and just clipped it on so you could see the difference that it would make. So what we're going to do now is make a short ground wire that's going to go from the back of the alternator to our engine block, a nice clean ground surface. And one important thing when making a ground wire is use the same size gauge wire as you use on your charge wire so it's all balanced. But that's about it. If you have any questions, Look up PowerMasterPerformance.com or give our tech line a call. They'll be happy to answer your questions for you.